welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all having a brilliant day so far or night, depending on where in the world you are. Oh my God, people always tell me to like sit still in my videos. They're like, you leave too much. I can't help it, I'm human. Oh. So in today's video, me and Sigma partnered up. Sigma has sponsored this video. So heads up, there are gonna be a lot of Sigma products in this video, but I always use a lot of Sigma products in every single video I have done since I started YouTube. So nothing new there. I wanted to do this kind of zero to 100 glow up makeup tutorial. As you can see, I have a lot of glow on my face. So I'm an oily person and I also put a lot of highlight on. Now, before anybody gets their knickers in a twist, I don't mean by the zero to 100 that I am ugly without makeup or that women have to wear makeup or anything like that. Sometimes I get comments like that and I'm like, dude, do you not know me at all? That's the last thing I stand for. I just mean I started at zero and now I've got 100 makeup on. And literally, I think I have about 100 makeup products on my face right now. If you do not already follow me on Snapchat and Instagram, I'm going to put them in the description box right underneath this video because I do weekly giveaways for my Lang fam, which is you guys over on Snapchat and Instagram. So follow me over there so that you know how to enter my weekly makeup giveaways. I basically want to keep doing giveaways until every single one of my Lang famers win a prize. So I'm, I'm gonna be doing them for a long time. Also, I will link every single product that I use in this video in the description box down below. And I do have a Sigma affiliate discount code. I own a small commission from, wait, what? I own a small commission from the discount code, like tiny, like it's barely even worth mentioning, but in the interest of being completely transparent and honest with you guys. So I will put that on the screen right here. It gets you 10% off Sigma makeup, which is always handy if you need new brushes or new makeup. And I will put it in the description box down below as well if you missed this here. So that is enough of this intro. Let's get straight into the video now. I really hope you guys are gonna like this look as much as I like it. I'm so impressed with this look. Like I feel like it's one of my favorite looks I've done in a long time. So keep on watching and I'll show you how I did it. Okay, so obviously I've got no makeup on my face at all at the moment, so I'm gonna start with eyes. So the brush I'm gonna to use to apply my foundation today is this one here. This is the new Sigma 3D HD Max Kabuki brush. But as you guys all know, I don't like applying my foundation with brushes, like I just don't. I always use a beauty blender to apply my foundation, so this is gonna be really odd for me. It's gonna be completely stepping out of my comfort zone. What a weird design. It's literally huge. It's massive. Massive. So I'm trying to show you up close. Hopefully you can see that. It's very angular is the way I would describe it. So it's cut here straight across, cut straight across here, and then it's kind of pointed at the very top. So it's peculiar. It's very different to a flat topped kabuki brush. So let's see how this goes. So today I'm actually changing up my foundation. I usually use the Urban Decay All Nighter foundation and I always use a sponge, a beauty blender to apply it. But I've heard that this one here, the Kat Von D Locket Foundation works much better with a brush than it does a sponge. So I thought, because I'm not used to applying my foundation with a brush, I'm gonna give it a fair trial and I'm gonna use a foundation that is meant to be applied with a brush. So today I'm using the Kat Von D Locket Foundation in the color medium 53. All right, so I've got a little bit on the back of my hand here. I'm just gonna dip the brush into it. So I've got some on the brush. Let's see, this feels like so unusual to me, guys. I am so not used to this. First thoughts is that the brush feels incredibly soft on my skin, which is nice. Cause I do have like really awkward skin. As you guys all know, I have oily skin, but it's also flaky at the same time. Now I'm gonna be doing my fan it. I'm gonna be doing my eye makeup first. So I'm gonna put this on my eyes as well. I swear I just got more in my eye than on my actual eyelid, bloody hell. Another thing about this brush is it's massive. So it kind of makes the application super fast. Like before you know it, your foundation's on because it's so huge, it covers so much of your face at once. So the foundation is on my eyelids and my forehead now. So you are zoomed right in now and I'm gonna start my eyes. So the palette I'm gonna be using is this one here. It's my favorite one from Sigma at the moment. It's the Sigma Nightlife palette. It's got all these brilliant colors inside it. So today I'm gonna be using mostly all the warm shades. So all these brown kind of goldy shades here, the black and the silver. So the color I'll be using first of all is this one here. It's called Panache, it's a matte top. And I'm using the Sigma E35 blending brush to apply it. I want this look to be like super blown out and dramatic. So I'm angling this instead of like up, I'm angling it out. I'm applying it all over my eyelid basically because this is gonna act as our transition shade. One thing I absolutely love about Sigma eyeshadows is that they blend like a dream. Honestly, out of all the eyeshadows I have in my entire life and have ever tried in my entire life, hands down, Sigma eyeshadows blend the easiest. 
Now I'm going in with this shade here. This is called After Hours. It's a deep matte brown. And I'll be using a Sigma 825 brush to apply it. So I'm applying this shade all through my crease to deepen it up. Like that. Then I'm going back in with my E35 to gently blend it out. Now I'm taking this shade here. This is a matte, really, really pale pink. It's called Skyline. And I'm using the E57 shader brush to apply it to my eyelid. So I'm kind of patting it on to my eyelid from the middle to the inner corner of my eyelid, if that makes sense. I want to keep this outer corner dark. Now I'm going in with some loose shimmer. The color I'm using is called Ethereal Glitter. And as you can see, it's a super, super white loose glitter. So I'm gonna apply some glitter glue over the top of where I put the lighter eyeshadows, kind of all over the bulbous part of the eyelid. Then before it dries, I'm getting the Ethereal Loose Glitter and I'm gonna apply that directly on top. I'm applying that with a concealer brush. It is the F70 Titanium Concealer Brush. Now I'm going back in with a deep brown called After Hours and I'm using a very special little brush called the Precise Lip Line L06 brush but I'm actually using it for my eyes. So what I'm going to do is start to create a more defined crease over here. So instead of being all blended out, I want it to be more harsh. <laughs> now I'm going in with this E30 pencil brush to really gently blend that out. Now I'm taking the matte black from the palette. This is called Leather Pants. And I'm going back in with the E30 pencil brush to even further darken up that outer corner. Then I'm going in with the original E35 blending brush that we used to gently blend that out. I also want it to blend nicely with this light glitter. So I'm kind of tapping whatever's left on my brush over onto that just on the outer corners. Now I'm thinking the eyeliner I'm gonna use is this one here. This is a gel liner from Sigma. It's called Liberally Toasted. And as you can see, it's a dark brown. I was gonna use black. I was gonna use Wicked from Sigma, but I think I'm gonna branch out and use the brown just to change it up a little bit. If you can hear noises downstairs, I'm getting my piano delivered right now from Australia. It was my great auntie's and it's come all the way over from Australia. And it's taken like months and it's only just arriving right now. So the men are downstairs trying to like deliver it into the house and put it somewhere. So the brush I'll be using for my eyeliner is this one here. This is a small E10 eyeliner brush. Okay, how cool does that look with the brown eyeliner? It's so weird, it's so different, but I like it. Now I'm gonna take the tape off and hope it looks good. And it does, yay! I'm just applying some black pencil liner to the waterline of my eyelid. So of course I just started putting my foundation on with the brush and then realized my camera was not recording. <laughs> so anyway, I've got my foundation on the back of my hand. I'm using the cap I'm using the Kat Von D foundation, the locket one. I'll link it down below for you. And I'm using the brush. So what I did was I just kind of like put it on like this, and because the brush is angled instead of being like a regular flat top kabuki brush, you can literally like paint it onto your face super smoothly and it's so gentle on my skin. And the angled part means that I can just kind of go like this and tidy up my eye makeup without disturbing it. Take foundation off my lips because that looks super gross. By the way, does anybody know how to like permanently stop dry lips? Ever since I was on Roaccutane when I was a teenager, my lips have always been dry. No matter what I use on them, no matter how many fats and oils I eat in my diet, healthy ones of course, my lips are just always dry. I feel like Roaccutane ruined my lips. All right, my foundation's off my lips and all is right in the world again. Now before I set everything in place with powder, I've got another new brush here which I wanna try. So this is similar to the last one I used except this one is the Sigma F83 Curved Kabuki. So again, it's a brand new brush. So this one is supposed to be really good for applying contouring. So let's see. What the heck, look at this guys. That is the strangest design. Very odd. So the idea of this brush, it's meant to be good for applying foundation and contouring because it kind of, the way it's cut, it fits like that. I'm gonna use the Anastasia Cream Contour Kit in light. And the color I'll be going in with is this one here. This is called Light Sculpt. I don't know why, but I feel really nervous about this. I feel like I'm gonna stuff it up. <laughs> 
I know what will fix that, lip balm. Oh my God, Darren just bought me up a vegan hot chocolate. It has made my life complete. Okay, so the brush I'm gonna use to, uh, to apply my contour is the Sigma Bake Precision P89 brush. As you can see, it's another super odd design. Like Sigma never ceases to amaze me. I feel like they're always at the forefront of developing new ideas and like new products, especially brushes for the makeup industry. They're very good like that. So I'm gonna apply the contour with this and I'm gonna blend it with this. All right, so I'm gonna draw that under my cheekbone. And before it dries, I'm gonna take the Curved Kabuki F83 brush. Now the way it's curved, I'm gonna try and blend it like this. That is so weird. Okay, so it's blended this top portion out perfectly with this flat area, but then this more like ridged area has gone straight along my cheekbone like this. And this is all kind of not blended, if that makes sense. So it's kept a really sharp cheek contour for me. That is so cool, but so strange at the same time. All right, I'm gonna try my jawline now. Let's see how that goes. I forgot how much I just don't like the Anastasia contouring palette. Like it doesn't blend, like it blends with this brush, but otherwise this contouring palette just bugs me. I don't like it at all, but I do like the colors. That's why I'm using it. All right, so I'm gonna apply it on my jawline like that, and then take my brush, and again with the hugging curve, see what happens. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh guys, if you like brushes, you are gonna go absolutely mad over these brushes. They're so different, they're very unique, like no one's got anything like this. This is so cool, Sigma never cease to amaze me. Okay, now still before I set my foundation in place with powder and move on, I'm going to highlight. So the highlight I'll be using is this one here. This is the Sigma Afterglow Liquid Highlight. I love this one, I use it all the time. Who am I and why did I just highlight all the way down my nose? I got carried away. I'm gonna go back in with my foundation brush, which was the 3D HD Max Kabuki to blend that out. Let's see how that works. Very well is the answer, very well. Okay, now I'm going ahead and setting everything in place with powder. Right, let's move on to skin. So I'm going to bronze first. So I've already contoured, I'm gonna bronze. So this one I haven't actually used before. This is a brand new one for me. This is the Sigma In The Saddle Aurora Powder. Of course, I'll be using a large angled contour F40 brush. I'm gonna apply this anywhere the sun hits naturally. Guys, I cannot get over that contour. I knew the brush would work well purely because it's Sigma and I've never had a bad experience with anything from Sigma, but that contour is out of this world. Like, it looks like it's been a powder contour blended. It doesn't look like it was a cream contour, if you know what I mean. Like, it looks too blended to be cream contour, but it was, and I'm very impressed. Now for my blush, I'm using the other Aurora powder that I just showed you in this color here. How pretty is that? It's a palest pink. The color is called Pet Name. And I'm applying it with a different F40 contour brush. I'm just using, I use these for my blush as well. Okay, now that that's done, let's move back to the eyes. Come closer. Hi. All right, headed back to our palette. I'm using this color here, Panache, on a clean Sigma E25 brush. And I'm holding a piece of tissue under my eye because I don't want to get any fallout on my newly applied foundation. I'm just going to apply this all over my under eye. Okay, that sounded like way too much. I'm just going to apply it to... Fuck, you know what I mean? <laughs> Now I'm going back in with After Hours, that dark matte brown. On this tiny little brush here, this is the Detailed Lip L04 brush, but again, I like to use it for my eyes. And I'm gonna apply this straight up close to my lower lashes. Now I'm going in with this shade here. It's a shimmery silver, it's called Disco Ball, on a clean E30 pencil brush. And I'm applying that to the inner corners of my eyes just to brighten them, highlight them, and then make my eyeballs look bigger. Now I'm gonna do my brows. I'm gonna speed through brows because I've been here for like three hours doing this makeup and it's getting a bit ridiculous. This is the Sigma Medium Brow Powder. It's a duo, it looks like this, it lasts forever. I use this most days of the week. And as you can see, I'm nowhere near hitting pan. Like this stuff is so dense. I honestly don't think I'll ever, ever, ever get through this and finish it. <laughs> the brush I'll be using to do my brows is this one here. It is the Titanium Small Angle E65 Angled Brush. Hi, I'm back. I just applied some mascara and some false lashes and finished my brows. I think I went a little bit too dark with them. I accidentally used too much of the dark shade 
from the brow duo, that one there, instead of that one, because I'm so used to having darker hair and I've gone a little bit lighter recently. I must get out of that habit. <laughs> right, I'm armed with a lipstick and a lip brush. So the lipstick I'm using is the Dance Till Dawn lipstick. It's a really pinky nude. And the lip brush I'm using is the Lip L05 brush. Hey, it just started raining, yay! If you guys know me, you'll know that raining is my favorite kind of weather. I'm a creep. Okay, so my makeup is finally finished and I can take my hair out and show you my 0 to 100 glow up. So that is the look finished, guys. I hope you liked this video. I've certainly enjoyed doing it. It's taken me the last three hours because I was talking so much. I don't know how I'm going to manage to edit all my blabbering down to like a five minute video. Five minutes is going to be pushing. I know it's probably going to be more like 10, 12, 15 minutes like all my videos are. Sorry guys. So I've got to say again, thank you so much to Sigma for sponsoring me on this video and always supporting me since I started on YouTube. So as I said at the start of the video, I will link every single product that I used in the description box down below. I'll try not to forget any single product and I will also put my Sigma affiliate discount code down there for you as well and I'll put it on the screen here too. That gets you 10% off. Remember to come and follow me on Snapchat and Instagram to enter my weekly Langfam giveaways for you guys. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, click the subscribe button here. I'm going to put on the screen right here. So there'll be a massive picture of my face. Click on that. That'll subscribe you to my channel. And if you did enjoy this video, pretty please give me a thumbs up, please. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love your guts and I'll see you in my next video.